Howdy, TubeUbers. Uh, today's video is a few horror films that may have flown under people's radar, or maybe some people just haven't heard of, but I think these are all films that uh, fans of horror should watch. So, let's start. The Danger After Dark release of Hell's Ground. <clears throat> this is basically uh, Pakistan's first zombie film. And uh, what's really cool about this is the guy who uh, made it, Omar Ali Khan, I believe. He also uh, produced it and did the story. Basically funded a lot of this movie through his uh, ice cream shop. It's pretty cool, and there's a little uh, Ice Cream Zombie Land documentary and the special features, which is really cool, and a good uh, director's comments commentary from him. But uh, it's a really cool film, some good splat in it, some good stuff. So if you haven't checked out Hell's Ground, check it out. Wicked character. Next up, Tony. This was uh, written and directed by Gerard Johnson. And uh, there's Tony right there in the middle. He's kind of like a uh, evil... Like an evil Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. Uh, really nasty little film. You know, Tony likes his action films on VHS. And uh, he just likes to kill, too. This is really cool. Uh, this would be a really good double feature with, like, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Really fun little film. Great simple cover, too. I love that cover. So, check it out. You got some good special features on here. You get two short films and uh, the feature commentary. Really cool. Feed. This is another Danger After Dark release. This is by the guy who directed Lawnmower Man and Virtuosity, which, uh, Virtuosity, eh, Lawnmower Man was kind of fun for its time. But, uh, yeah, this is really cool. Good little film, basically about, uh, people that force-feed women to get them as big as they can. And there's a detective involved, and some other cool stuff. The special features is pretty cool, because it kind of looks like a, uh, nutrition label on the back of, like, cereal or something like that, just the way it looks. So that's pretty cool. This is just a really uh, wicked little film. There's the disc. Looks like meat. Has a very uh, Silence of the Lambsy vibe to it. But a super fun, gross film. A uh, kind of a unique zombie film. Uh, this is a blockbuster exclusive version of Pontypool. Uh, this is adapted from a book <coughs> which uh, called uh, Pontypool Changes Everything, which uh, was written by Tony Burgess. I haven't actually read the book, but uh, the movie stars Stephen McCaddy, and uh, he plays a DJ. And, uh, words basically <coughs> make people go nuts, and they basically turn into zombies. Uh, this version here, unfortunately, only has the one special feature of a trailer. There is another version, though, that has some, uh, I think, a commentary and some making up type stuff. I just haven't been able to actually pick it up yet, but uh, I will. This is just, I mean, this has some funny stuff in it. It has some good gore stuff in it. It's just a really cool, fun, intelligent film. Next up, we have a uh, Spanish, sort of a uh, comedy horror film in the vein of like a Shaun of the Dead type thing, and that's Plague of Zombie Mutant Zone. Uh, now, Plague of Zombie Mutant Zone, that's the sequel to Plague of Zombie, which also is on disc two on here, as they give, as they give you a bonus of that. This is put out by Fangoria International Media Blasters. Um, this is really cool. Has a really good uh, making of, of of Mutant Zone on here. 
Um, you get a couple different commentaries with the cast and crew. This is very Evil Deadish, Dead Alive, and it's Phil. Um, the original Plague of Zombie, which is on here, which is right there. The cool special feature on that is they basically used a handheld camcorder, and to do their editing, they went back and forth between VCRs. I mean, really old school, just really dedicated fans. Um, really awesome. They had a little bit more money to make a Mutant Zone, which is a blast. Some great over-the-top kills, some great splatter, um, some funny stuff in here. Basically, you know, a alien virus being tested by the FBI infects a small town, transforming people into zombies. You have John West, who's a pro wrestler, Bill Johnson, who's a medical student, and a Max Giggs, a computer nerd. And they basically team up to fight these zombies. There's some fun, super cool stuff in this. Check it out if you never have. It's very good. And last, uh, picked it up at Blockbuster for just a couple dollars a few years ago. And uh, I remember reading the review in Rue Morgue magazine, and they, I think they enjoyed it. I remember them saying it was it was a good good fun film. So I kind of pick it up, and uh, watched it, and I was expecting to just be like, oh lord, are you kidding me? The premise is a girl gets trapped in a storm, like a tornado, and she's trapped inside of her house with like her little autistic brother, and for some wacky ass reason, there's a tiger roaming around the house. I mean, that right there, you're like, what? That's not going to work. That's called Burning Bright. Stars uh, Brianna Evigan. I think that's how you say her name. She was in, like, uh, the remake of Sorority Row or remake of something or other, uh, which I didn't see. This is uh, directed by Carlos Brooks. Um, has a pretty cool little uh, special effects featurette, but... Uh, Great cover, fun cover. That house and the tiger look pretty cool. But, yeah, it's basically the premise. Uh, Kelly feels her life's unraveling. Her mother's death has left her as the guardian of her autistic 12-year-old brother, Tom. And she's just learned her stepfather pilfered her college fund to buy a tiger for his safari park. To make matters worse, a hurricane is cutting a swath of destruction toward her home. Um, but she has something greater to fear than the hurricane's 120 mile, out, mile, mile per hour winds. A savage tiger has somehow slipped inside her house. Now they're trapped in a boarded up home. Um, the CGI for the tiger is really good. Um, more well done. This whole movie all around is more well done than I thought it would be. I really enjoyed watching this. Um, she's great in it. Brianna is absolutely great in this movie. So if you haven't seen this or you've kind of dismissed it or whatever, it's put out by Lionsgate. Uh, you know, even though it's a PG-13 horror film or whatever, pick it up, check it out. I think you'll, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. <clears throat> so, yeah. Any of these films here that I've mentioned, no, check them out. I think they're all worthwhile additions to anyone's horror collection. Um, they're all super fun to watch. I don't think you're going to be disappointed if you watch any of these films. They're a blast. Most of these discs have really good special features. So check them out. If you've seen them, let me know what you think about them. And uh, yeah, I guess that's the video. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And cheers.